Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. So this is the part 7 for the previous year's questions of RSPCB, JSO and J entrance examination which is also important for the UGC NET environmental science examination. So if you haven't checked the previous parts you can check the link given in the description below. So without much delay let's get started. So here today we are going to deal about 25 questions which will be a rapid revision and we will know the answers after certain seconds of questions which I will be reading. So there are total 25 videos in the playlist for the RSPCB, you can check it out. So let's start with the first question. The first question is chlorine is often added to the wastewater for a uh, disinfection before the effluent discharge. So chlorine is used as disinfection agent. So the potential problem with this procedure is what? So read every options carefully, then I will reveal the correct answer. So here. The problem with the chlorine addition in the disinfection of the effluent discharge is that it forms the toxic chlorinated hydrocarbons which is formed sometimes and the example is the very very harmful that is trihalomethane. So you should note it down. Trihalomethane is the toxic chlorinated hydrocarbon which is formed when chlorine is added to the water for disinfection. So let's move to the next question. So the next question is the most serious environmental effect posed by the hazardous waste is what? So read every question carefully. So here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, the most serious environmental impact by the hazardous waste is that the contamination of groundwater. Yes, so when these hazardous waste are disposed of in the landfills, then they contaminate the groundwater. As a result, it causes many diseases. So that's why they should be disposed of very efficiently. Let's move to the next question. The next question I hope most of you will be knowing. The question is the International Ozone Depletion Day is observed on which of the following dates? And here the correct option will be it is observed on 16th of September every year that is Ozone Depletion Day. So let's move to the next question. The next question is also very important and for some of you it will be new term. The question is the hedge feeding is the process of which of the following disposal and here this hedge hog feeding is the process of disposal of food waste yes it is not matured in the India that is not common in India but this hog feeding is actually the food waste are feeded to the hogs and other animals mostly the swine for the effective waste disposal of food waste. So let's move to the next question. The next question is very easy. I guess everyone will be able to answer. The question is which of the following is a not a greenhouse gas? So here the correct option will be option number A that is H2S hydrogen sulfide is not a greenhouse gas but CFC, methane and carbon dioxide are the greenhouse gases. So let's move to the next question. The next question is coming up from the mobile which you are using now. So the question is the mobile towers emit which of the following waves? And here the correct option will be the mobile tower emits the microwaves. Yes, these are harmful. So we should stay away from the mobile towers. So let's move to the next question. The next question coming up is the pollutant responsible for the ozone layer hole is which one? So this kind of simple questions are also asked. This is from the school days we know. And the correct option will be option number D. CFCs are the major pollutant responsible for the ozone layer hole or ozone layer depletion. Now the question is coming up from the Rajasthan itself. I have given you the hint. So the question is the Kiola Dev or Kiola Dio National Park is located in which of the following places? And here the correct option will be the Kiola Dev or Kiola Dio. The National Park is situated in Rajasthan's Bharatpur. So it is also very important. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the an organism that is native to a particular region is called as what? And here the correct option will be that kind of organism which is only situated in a particular region is called as endemic. So for example, the kangaroos are only present in the Australia. So they are endemic to Australia. Let's move to the next question. The next question is also damn easy. Acidity and alkalinity is measured as what? So the correct option will be option number B. They are measured in terms of pH value 
and you should know that 1 to 6 is the acidic range and 7 is the neutral point and 8 to 14 is the basic that is alkaline range in the pH meter. Let's move to the next question. The next question is coming up. The Central Arid Zone Research Institute is located in which of the following places? So here the correct option will be the central arid zone that means arid means where the shortage of water is there so it will be situated in Rajasthan so Rajasthan Jodhpur it is situated the next question is the thermal pollution is caused due to which of the following so to know the answer we should know that what is thermal pollution the thermal pollution is actually the abnormal or sudden increase or decrease in the temperature of natural water body it is not always that increase in water body temperature will be called as thermal pollution if it is decreasing also from the normal temperature it is also called as thermal pollution so as it is related to the temperature that is increase of temperature or decrease in temperature that's why the correct option will be it is caused due to the change in heat the abnormality in heat let's move to the next question the next question is the gases responsible for the acid drain are what? So let me tell you this option is showing SOX that is oxides of sulfur and CFC and this option is telling oxides of nitrogen and H2S. So it was not clear that's why I mentioned. So here the correct option will option number C that is oxides of nitrogen and oxides of sulfur they cause the acid rain and it is also very frequently asked question and important topic. If you want to know more about acid rain and the reactions you can check the link I'll provide in the I button that is important part of acid rain I have already made a video. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the concentration of this gas that means the following gas is given in the option is highest in our atmosphere. And here the correct option will be option number D. Nitrogen has having the highest concentration in our atmosphere that is around 78% followed by the oxygen that is 21 percentage. Let's move to the next question. The next question is related to EIA. The question is the environmental impact assessment that is EIA is friendly to whom? So here the correct option will be the EIA is friendly to all the three aspects that is people, environment and industry. So that's why we should always go for the EIA before any projects. Time for the next question. The next question is coming up from the environmental chemistry and the question is the Winkler method is used for the analysis of which of the following. And here the correct option will be it is used for determining the dissolved oxygen in the water content. So option number A will be the correct option. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the fluorosis is the disease caused due to the excess of which of the following elements. So here from the term itself one can tell the answer will be option number B fluoride yes fluorosis so fluoride will be the element which is causing this disease. Let's move to the next question the next question you should be very attentive so let's read the question first the question is the temporary hardness of the water is caused due to the presence of which of the following so read every option carefully and here the correct option will be all of the above yes the temporary hardness is also known as the hardness of carbonates so it is due to the carbonates of calcium and magnesium present in water as well as bicarbonate of calcium and magnesium present in water so here this option was giving both a and b but you should select all of the above which will include option c also so that will be the correct option option number d so you should be attentive while answering any question let's move to the next question the next question is the frequently asked question that is blue baby syndrome is a condition of respiratory failure in the babies due to having excess intake of which of the following elements and here the correct option will be option number b nitrate is the element which is taken in the excess form causes blue baby syndrome let's move to the next question the next question is the diseases caused by the polluted water area is what or are what So here the correct option will be all of the disease are caused by the polluted water with the contaminated agents like typhoid, jaundice, diarrhea all these are caused by the contaminated or polluted water. Let's move to the next questions. The next question is which metal couple poisons the water? So the options are on your screen. 
and here the correct option is option number C mercury and lead metal couple poisons the water that's why it is very harmful and you should tell me in the comment section that which disease is caused by the mercury intake I will give you a hint it is related to the Japan disease the next question is which of the following is not true for the eutropic lake so read every option carefully and here the option which is not true about the eutropic lake will be option number D that eutropic lake are not low in nutrients they are high in nutrients that's why the accumulation of dead algae and detritus is found the fish are suffocated and they die and water is also not clear let's move to the next question the next question is when one considers the microbial safety of drinking water again the question is coming from the drinking water the major concern is the presence of what So here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, the major concern to know about the drinking water safety is to know the fecal contamination. Yes, for example, E. coli test we used to do to know whether the water is contaminated with fecal matter or not. So that's why for the drinking water, the major concern is fecal contamination. Let's move to the next slide. And these questions are related to Rajasthan as well as the environment of the Rajasthan that is environmental science. So let's read the question. The first question is which river of Rajasthan is known as Vankiyasha which is known as the hope of the forest. And here the correct option will be the Banas river in Rajasthan is called as the Vankiyasha or the hope for the forest. And the next question let us read it. The next question is which of the following is the state bird of Rajasthan. And here this question also came in the UGC net environmental science exam. The correct answer will be great Indian buster is the state bird of Rajasthan. So this was the video which was including the previous questions for the RSPCB and the environmental science entrance examination. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to know more then subscribe the channel to get further updates and don't forget to see all those videos which is included in the RSPCB playlist which are going to be very helpful in the examination. So see you guys in our next video. Till then take care and keep smiling.